what's up everybody and welcome back to another video today is going to be my first time doing wolf mother um i don't really know much about them um but the song the joker and the thief is a pretty cool song whenever i hear it i go oh that's a pretty cool song and it's a pretty cool guitar parts in the song so that's the reason why I, the band themselves, I don't, I will say I don't really know much about, but, uh, they're the band who did the song and they deserve the credit for doing that song. So, um, if you like the video, which I assume you probably won't, but if you do, please hit that like button and subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, Wolf Mother, the Joker, and the Thief. Stick around. Okay, so Wolf Mother, the Joker, and the Thief, or I think it's actually Joker and the Thief. I don't think it's actually the Joker. Or this is actually the. Why people say the? Have you ever notice that people say the? But technically, the is T H E E. So it would actually be the all the time, but you say the sometimes. Uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, uh, so it starts off. With that, and this happens a long, a lot. I think I think when I looked at a tab for it, it's like twenty-four bars of uh, two, no, four times in each bar. So that'll be twenty times twenty-four times four, which I don't know what it is because I can't do math. But anyways, it's, it's pretty much that many times until it gets into the next guitar part. So what it is, is I'm just going to show it because I every time I try to do it up to speed, I always mess up. So I'm just going to show you what it is. So it's... Uh... And always, as you know in my videos, my open D string and my open G string sounds horrible. So I apologize for that clang. It's like it's always clang. But you don't have to hear it. You want to play it. If you if you wanted to learn how to play it, you don't have to hear the person playing it correctly. You just do what is being told. <laughs> so it's open D to hammer on five to hammer on seven. So then you do the same thing on the G. Open G to hammer on five to set hammer on seven. See, I can't do it up to speed because I'm not good at playing guitar. If you can get it up to speed, all well and good, and you play it better than I do. So it's open D five seven, open G five seven. So I'm, by the way, I forgot I'm breaking this up into three parts. So that's part number one. So open five seven. G on the D and open five seven on the I'm um, sorry D and then G okay, then when it gets into okay simple enough also it's um, D power chord starting on the A five seven seven and then you're gonna go I think one two three four five six and then you get to so six times. D, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, it would be probably seven times. Seven times. And then you let go of the... You keep this bar. Do you want to pretty much bar the... I do that anyways, kind of, to do a power chord. You pretty much have those bars. For me, I have those bars. Some people do it like that. Although you would still have it barred. Never mind. Yeah, so you have it barred anyways. So you release the seven, seven of the D and the G to give it a five. So... So, 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 nano, nano, so, D, 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 so you want to do that twice. Then you're going to go down to a F, which is. 8, 10, 10, power chord, then into a G, 10, 12, 12, power chord, and then I think you do hear a little bit of a, so you, what you do over here, you do over here, you release the 12, and it's going to be 10, 10, 10, 
I, I think I hear that. It's more distinct over here. You, you know you hear it in this part. You know you hear that. And then you go to the F, then G. I think you do that. You, you do it. You don't do it. I think you do it. Uh, yeah, so the only other part is... Sorry. I guess considered the bridge and what that is is you hit a D and then you go on the D string you go seven five four in like a triplet and then you break into it's six notes broken up into the triplets pretty much. so seven five four five four five on the A into a C power chord and you're going to do it again, but instead of landing on the 5, you land on the 7 of the uh, A string. Back into a D. So D, C, D. And with the exception of, I think there's a solo, <laughs> yeah, with the exception of a few different parts, which I can't play, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the lesson on Joker in the Thief by Wolfmother. Okay, so that'll do it for another video. Um, Joker in the Thief by Wolfmother. Uh, pretty sure it's in the hangover. The, the casino scene when uh, Zach Galifianakis' character... I can't... How do I forget his name? Uh, it's not Stu. Wow. Sorry, it'll be up here. <laughs> Although, actually, you'll know it, because it's not really... I don't know how I don't remember his guy. I don't really know how I forgot that name. But Zach Galifianakis is winning all the money in the casino, that blackjack. And that's the songs playing, The Joker and the Thief. I think that's where I heard it, and it sounded cool, and I wanted to play it, so I did. Then I wanted to teach it, so I just did. Uh, until next time, see you later. Gadoosh.